Hello again, and welcome to another video from Green Leap Technology. This video will cover Citrix Zen Server VM Import and Export. We're going to walk through exporting from the Zen Center interface, as well as importing from the Zen Center interface. We'll also cover exporting from the command line, as well as importing from the command line. We're going to start with exporting from the Zen Center interface. All right, now we've brought up Citrix Zen Center to go ahead and walk through uh, exporting the virtual machine uh, through the GUI interface. Uh, for this example, I've created a demonstration VM from the template provided by Citrix uh, that comes with the Zen Server. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click on Demo VM and right click and then we can go export the VM. Now it's going to ask us for a name. Demo VM is fine. Uh, the location is stored, the file. We can hit Browse. Uh, for this example, I'll just throw it on the desktop. Uh, and it allows us to select multiple formats. One being the OVF OVA format, which is a uh, open standard format for importing through uh, things like VMware as well as Microsoft, uh, things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and select the XBA option for uh, the Citrix based uh, format. I'm going to go ahead and select next. Choose the VM that I want, uh, which is the demo VM. I could add multiple VMs and create a a package of multiple VMs that could be exported. Uh, whether I'm using a multi-tiered application such as the the V app, uh, which would allow me if I had a web server or a database, uh, a multi-tier sort of application, I could import those uh, after exporting them. I'm just gonna click next. I'll leave uh, verify export completion and then I'll click finish. And then here let us know it's exporting. Plus it's also going to illuminate like it's creating the snapshot. And since it's a really small VM, I'll go ahead and check the logs. And since it's exported, and I'll go ahead and check my desktop. And here's the demo VM. section we walked through exporting a VM through the Zen Center interface. Now in this section we're going to walk through importing a VM through the Zen Center interface. Uh, for our example we're going to utilize the demo VM we utilized last section. So we're going to start off by deleting it so that we can re-import from the export that we utilized previously. Alright, now that it's been deleted, I'll right click the server and then I'll choose import. And I'll choose browse to browse to the backup and demo VM from my desktop. I'll click next. And since I only have one server, that's the server it's going to be on. I have couple of options for storage but I'll use my NFS storage that's the default click import and I'll leave the networking as default as that was is what was used when it was originally on the server um, I'm going to uncheck start VM after import because in this case since it's a demo VM utilized for this video uh, it's not a full-fledged virtual machine Go ahead and click finish. And now we see that the demo VM is there. Uh, brought in all the settings. It actually does have some storage, but it's not full storage. It's just uh, the actual virtual hard disk. Uh, just to show that it, it what it actually does. The networking. Um, and then I can go into the logs and it'll show me how long it took to complete that process. 
process uh, that will complete the section on importing VM through the Zen Center interface. In the previous two sections, we've covered importing and exporting virtual machines from the Zen Center interface. In the next two sections, we're going to cover the same two tasks, except from the command line. In my example, I'm using Windows 7, and I'm going to utilize OpenSSH to access the server. So we're going to SSH into the server. Enter in the password, and in this case, I need the VM ID in order to export the virtual machine. So I'm going to list the VM uh, ID information by going XE VM list, and that provides us with the IDs of the virtual machines. And in this case, we're looking for the demo VM, and the ID is right here. So I'm going to enter in the export command, xevm export uh, vm, and it's looking for the ID. This is a particular parameter. So I'm going to hit and enter in the ID. And I'm going to enter in the name of the back the export file. And in this case, where it's actually going to save it is on the Zen server server itself. Uh, typically, you're going to want to save it to a remote storage uh, or a particular file store. I'm going to go ahead and name it uh, demo vm export so that we can see it. All right, and then it's going to begin the process of exporting the VM. And now we get the export succeeded. And since I've exported to the Zen server itself, I'll go ahead and ls and list the file. And here we go demo VM export. And that completes the section on exporting virtual machines. In this section, we're going to step through importing a virtual machine through the command line. Uh, the previous section, we walked through exporting, and we're going to utilize the same virtual machine that we exported for the import. So before we do that, we're going to go ahead and delete the VM we used in the last section from the uh, Zen server server to properly import it again. Uh, we're going to utilize the VM list option again to grab the ID of the VM so we can delete it. And in this case, we're going to delete it from the command line as well, uh, utilizing the VM uninstall command. Uh, now we're going to enter in the ID of the virtual machine. Now it wants us to confirm that we want to delete the process and we'll go ahead and click yes and the objects have been destroyed. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to import our virtual machine. Now in the case of, of this video, the VM is uh, the export is stored on the Citrix Zen server itself. Um, so what we're going to do is the XE VM import and we're going to simply utilize file name and in this case it is uh, demo vm export
and it's gone ahead and imported our VM. And in this case, it's provided us the ID of the VM. And so we'll go ahead and hit XE VM list. And the VM is there. This concludes the video on importing a VM with the command line.